Good evening and welcome to Top Event Online News at 9. My name is Fat Ismail. The news at 9. The Nobu approves committee on adult quota mills revival. Others. The government plans new vehicle safety policy. ILO says 2 million workers may lose jobs in 2024. Train more professionals to bridge brain drain. Our government tells varsities. Military rescues 154 kidnapped civilians from terrorists nationwide. Our government allows Nigerians to major IT's outbreak. NIMED predicts dust is thunderstorms nationwide. NYSE once calls members against misconduct and on sports. Cricket. 58 teams set for PWC National Under-17 Championship. Now the news in details. President Bola Tinubu has approved the setting up of an inter-ministerial committee on the execution of three steel development projects, including the revival of the Ajaokuta steel mill. Minister of Steel Development, Shuaibu Audu, made this known in Abuja after he and the Minister of Defense, Abu Bakar Badaru, met with President Tinobu at the State House yesterday. The federal government has revealed plans to introduce a new policy in the transport sector in order to enhance full compliance in the use of vehicle safety kits by motorists. The Minister of Transportation, Sayidu Al-Kali, said this in Abuja on Thursday during a sensitization program on road safety and use of automobile safety kits organized by the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria. The minister, who was represented by the director, Road Transport and Mass Transit Administration in the ministry, Musa Ibrahim, said the initiative is a welcome development. The International Labor Organization has projected that 2 million workers may lose their jobs this year as the global unemployment rate will be up from 5.1% in 2023 to 5.2%. In the latest report titled World Employment and Social Outlook 2024, the ILO stated that joblessness and jobs gap have fallen below pre-pandemic levels, added that global unemployment would rise in 2024. The federal government has charged higher institutions of learning in the country to collaborate with their foreign counterparts to train professionals who replace those who are, who are exiting the country. The federal government also directed foreign universities to adhere strictly to the country's guidelines. The defense headquarters says the military has eliminated no fewer than 86 terrorists, rescued a total of 154 kidnapped hostages, and apprehended 101 others in different operations across the country in the last one week. The troops of Operation Delta Save uncovered and destroyed 60 illegal refining sites and apprehended 30 suspected oil thieves in the Niger Delta. The director of Defense Media Operation, Major General Edward Buba, said us while giving an update on the operation of the military yesterday in Abuja. The federal government has alerted Nigerians to the outbreak of cerebral spinal meningitis. It's uh, the disease claimed 190 lives across the country last year. It's added that meningitis is more prevalent during the dry season 
which comes with dust and cold night. Nightmare weather report released yesterday in Abuja has forecast moderate dust days with reduced visibility and localized thunderstorms across the country on Friday. It's urged the people with asthma and other respiratory issues to exercise caution and limit outdoor exposure due to the present weather conditions. The National Youth Service calls NYSC as one calls members against misconduct as there will be sanctions of errors individuals. The NYSC in a statement said it has recommitted more determination to the welfare, security, supervision and monitoring of calls members in their respective locations. It also said the scheme would ensure strict adherence to laid-down procedures in carrying out its mandate. The last on the news is sport. The Cricket Federation has announced that 58 teams have entered to participate in the fifth edition of the PWC National Under-70 Cricket Championship with regional elimination round set for January 20th. The general manager of the Federation, Emeka Igwolu, has informed that the fifth edition of the event will attract more participation than expected, as the event continues to be one of the core events for the grassroots development efforts. We have come to the end of the news at 9. Here is the recap of the story. The Nobu approves committee on Adal Kuta News Reviver. Others. The government plans new vehicle safety policy. ILO says 2 million workers may lose jobs in 2024. Train more professionals to bridge brain drain. The government tells varsities. Military rescues 154 kidnapped civilians from terrorist nationwide. Pra government allows Nigerians to majority's outbreak. Nimet predicts dust is thunderstorms nationwide. NYC once calls members against misconduct and on sports. Cricket 58 teams set for PWC national under 17 championship always see your past mistakes as part of the process to your success for more news visit www.justeventsonline.com and to read more updates follow us on our social media platforms with a tab at just events online you can also send us an email on just events online at gmail.com i am an infant is smiling do have a stress-free weekend.